Hi guys, Derek Armson at APD Internet Marketing here with a slight cold, uh, so I do sound a bit snuffly today, so apologies uh, for that. Um, but I just wanted to make a quick video for you today on the subject of socialising your blogs. Uh, in the new world that Google is now creating, um, we're told all sorts of things about search engine optimization that we shouldn't actually effectively SEO our web pages um, and that social footprint is certainly vitally important these days more important than backlinks and, and other SEO techniques that we might use so it's vitally important that you are using social engagement to get traffic and, and build the credibility of your websites in Google's eyes so consequently I've been asked a lot about this um, recently in the dream team and in other places so I thought I'd make this quick video to show you what I do um, now this is a site, I've, literally this has only been up a couple of days, um, um, and you can see that I'm using this share button here, which is a plugin I'm using on the WordPress site. Um, what's really, really cool about this is it gives you two options for getting socialised. Um, firstly, the social bar at the side, um, and you'll notice that Pinterest is on the bar, because Pinterest is vitally important these days. I mean, I know it's a no-follow link, but it is a PRA, and I think I've mentioned that before. Uh, but what you also get is you get these social buttons at the bottom of the post as well. Now, as I said, this site's only been up literally a couple of days, and I'm already getting some social action on this uh, through this plugin. So <clears throat> I just wanted to show you today how, how I'm implementing this plugin, and it really is very, very simple indeed. I have here a new blog. You can see I bought my name as a domain name. Quick tip for you there, if you can, get your name as a domain name. Um, so I'm going to install a new plugin. Um, search plugins. And the plugin I want is share this. Now it's not the first one that actually comes up on this, it's not this one, it's this one here. Share this, Share Buttons and Share Analytics by Manu Mukherjee, I hope I've said that right. Um, so I'm sure you've seen me install plugins before, but we'll, we'll go through the process. Install, activate, and once you've activated, as you can see this is a brand new virgin blog. Um, go to settings and you'll see share this come up on your settings. Very, very, very simple to do this. The the Buttons at the bottom of the post are already implemented for you. Um, you can take them off if you want, but I don't see why you would want to do that. Um, the only other thing I do is I check that these two boxes are ticked, yes, because you want to add share this to both your posts and your pages. Um, you know, there's really not that much difference. And the other one is enable the hovering bar. That's that there, big red hand by it. Make sure that is ticked. Now this is actually something new because normally this is this box isn't ticked, but it is on this installation. So do just make sure that's ticked. That's what does that for you. You can also have one of these share buttons on the side. Um, I have played around with this and tested it a bit. I found the hover bar is better. Um, what I tend to do, if you put, if you implement this, this will take the left hand side, which is where the hot point on the website is for, for eyeballs. So I tend to keep the hover bar on that side. All I do is update options. And you see here, I've got the blog open. Uh, and if I refresh that, you'll see the little hover bar come up. There it is. Um, and also you see that that's there. So I hope you found that useful. I hope um, that will enable you to go out there and socialize your blogs and get that, uh, that kudos in Google that the social footprint, footprint brings. And I'll be back very soon with some more tips for you. Thanks very much. Bye for now.